A warm welcome to all our viewers and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Today we delve into the heart of the British monarchy, dissecting the actions of Prince William. We'll scrutinise Richard Eden's attempts to justify William's recent hunting trip to Spain and his seemingly forced work engagements. We'll also touch on the persistent rumours about William's laziness and the whispers of a potential divorce from Kate. Today, we will critically analyse Richard Eden's attempts to justify William's laziness and the implications it has on the Royal Watchers community. Let's start with the recent news of Prince William's hunting trip to Spain. Now, it's not unheard of for the royals to enjoy a spot of hunting, but what's raised eyebrows is the fact that William chose to embark on this adventure without his wife, Kate. A solo trip, you might say? Indeed it was. This escapade was covered by Richard Eden in his column for the Mail. Eden, known for his knack of painting the royals in a favourable light, seemed to be doing his best to justify William's actions. He presented the trip as a simple leisurely pursuit, a chance for the prince to unwind and enjoy a weekend away. But was it just that, or was there more to the story? It's worth noting that a hunting trip to the Duke of Westminster's vast estate is not exactly a casual weekend getaway. It's a grand affair, one that requires planning, preparation and a certain degree of pomp and circumstance. So, it's somewhat puzzling that William would choose to undertake such an expedition alone, leaving Kate behind. Eden's coverage of the event, while seemingly benign, appears to downplay the significance of William's solo trip. He glosses over the fact that the prince chose to partake in this grand hunting trip without his wife, instead focusing on the details of the hunt itself. But isn't the absence of Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, a detail worth mentioning? Surely, if we're discussing the comings and goings of the royal family, the absence of a key member during a significant event is noteworthy. This brings us to ask, was this hunting trip an innocent pastime or a sign of something more concerning? Could this be an indication of trouble in paradise? Or perhaps it's an attempt by William to assert his independence, to step out of his family's shadow and carve his own path. Whatever the case may be, one thing's for certain, there's more to this story than meets the eye. So let's delve deeper. Moving on, let's talk about Prince William's recent work commitment in France. In a surprising turn of events, William found himself attending the reopening of Notre Dame and holding a private meeting with Donald Trump at the British Embassy. Now, according to Richard Eden's account in the Daily Mail, these engagements are considered significant work commitments for the Duke. Eden portrays these events as an admirable display of duty and dedication. However, it's worth noting that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are not particularly known for their fondness of weekend work. In fact, they seem to avoid it like the plague. So what could have prompted this sudden change? Could it have been a genuine sense of duty and responsibility? Or was it perhaps a calculated move designed to compete with his younger brother, Prince Harry? Let's delve a little deeper. The Duke's visit to Notre Dame, while significant, is not an uncommon event for a member of the royal family. As for his meeting with Donald Trump, it's not unusual for a representative of the British monarchy to meet with foreign dignitaries. Yet, Eden seems determined to portray these events as heroic feats of duty, brushing aside any suggestion of laziness on William's part. But one can't help but wonder, is this portrayal accurate? Or is it a mere attempt to justify the Duke's actions, masking a deeper issue? It's also worth noting that these events coincidentally occurred around the same time as Prince Harry's highly publicised charity work. Could it be that William's sudden burst of work was not born out of a genuine desire to serve, but rather a desperate attempt to compete with his brother's popularity? The truth, as they say, is often stranger than fiction. Was this a genuine work commitment or a mere attempt to compete with his brother Harry? We will explore this further. Next, let's examine the change in Prince William's weekend routine. Two weekends ago, we observed a deviation from the norm. Prince William, known for his tendency to evade engagements on weekends, made a surprising decision. He chose not to retreat to Norfolk with his family, but instead embarked on a hunting trip to Spain. This was no ordinary hunting trip, mind you. The venue was the Duke of Westminster's sprawling estate, 
a location that speaks volumes about the stature of this event. Richard Eden, in his column for the Mail, attempted to justify this unexpected change of routine. He painted it as a simple break from the usual, a chance for the prince to unwind and indulge in his hobbies. However, we must question whether this is a reasonable explanation, considering the broader context. It's important to remember that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Kate, are notorious for their aversion to work, be it on weekdays or weekends. Their typical modus operandi is to retreat to their Norfolk residence, Anmer Hall, as soon as the children are out of school on Fridays. This routine is as predictable as it is controversial, with many questioning their commitment to their royal duties. So, what does this sudden change in routine signify? Could it be a simple change of pace, a break from the monotony of royal life? Or could it be a sign of a deeper issue, perhaps a strain in the relationship between William and Kate? In light of these questions, Eden's justification of William's actions seems overly simplistic. It brushes over the potential implications of this change in routine, instead focusing on presenting the prince's actions in a favourable light. What we must remember, however, is that the actions of those in the public eye are rarely without meaning. This deviation from the established routine may be more significant than it initially appears. What does this change in routine signify? Is it a simple change of pace or a sign of a deeper issue? We leave that for you to ponder. Lastly, let's address the elephant in the room, the divorce rumours. Whispers of a rift between Prince William and Kate Middleton have been circulating like wildfire. And no wonder with William's recent actions painting quite a different picture of the royal couple's seemingly idyllic life. Now the royal watchers among us may be familiar with the name Richard Eden. Eden, a columnist for the Mail, has been covering these rumours extensively. But his coverage seems to be, shall we say, somewhat skewed. There appears to be a concerted effort to justify or deflect from William's recent actions. For instance, his sudden weekend trip to Spain, ostensibly for a hunting trip, was painted as a simple change in routine. But one cannot help but wonder if there's more to it than that. Eden also seems to rather conveniently overlook the fact that William and Kate are notoriously reluctant to work on weekends, or weekdays for that matter. Yet here we have William, suddenly jetting off to France on what was described as a working weekend. This, too, was glossed over by Eden. Now, one could argue that these are simply coincidences, but when it comes to the royals, there are rarely any coincidences. Every action, every word, is carefully thought out and often carries hidden meaning. So it's not entirely unreasonable to question whether these coincidences are signs of deeper issues within the royal marriage. Of course, it's important to remember that these are only rumours. There has been no official statement from the palace. But the fact remains that William's actions have raised eyebrows and the rumours persist. Are these rumours baseless or is there more to the story than meets the eye? Only time will tell. As we come to the end of our analysis, it's clear that Prince William's recent actions spark a myriad of questions. The sudden shift in his weekend routine, the forced work engagements and the whispers of marital discord with Kate all paint a picture that's far from the typical royal tableau. Richard Eden, in his Mail's Eden Confidential column, attempts to justify William's actions, but one must wonder if these justifications are merely a smokescreen. The abrupt deviation from the usual family weekend in Norfolk to a hunting trip in Spain seems more than just a simple break in routine. Could it be a desperate attempt to escape the pressures of royal life or perhaps an indication of deeper issues at play. His work trip to France, including the meeting with Donald Trump, also raises eyebrows. It's hardly a secret that William and Kate prefer their weekends free from royal duties, yet here we are observing William putting on a show of work. Is it really for the sake of duty, or is it a thinly veiled attempt to compete with his brother Harry? And then there are the whispers of a potential divorce. While we must tread lightly with such matters, it's hard to ignore the signs. The Royal Watchers are certainly paying attention. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share our content. Until next time, goodbye.